Road tripping is a good time. Friends and family making memories, right? But there is one event from your trip you try to erase from your memory, flushing the tanks. You have to do it. And if you follow these steps, it'll be over before you know it and you won't have to say, Ew, that's nasty. First, open your wet bay. Here you have your black and gray tanks and all the valves you need to get the job done. Now here's what you need, a three inch sewer hose and a fresh water hose. I always like to make sure the valves are closed, so before you start, go ahead and give them a quick check. Twist off the cover so you can run your hose up. This twistable valve is handy for a few reasons. You can move it into place, making it easier to connect that line. Take the cover off the valve, run your sewer hose up, and connect it. Now it's time to pull the handles, in this order, black first. An easy way to remember this order is, if it's in the black, send it back. Move on to gray, you're gonna be okay. This black tank is where everything flushed down the toilet is hanging out, and I mean everything. Ew, that's nasty. Now you wanna make sure the tank is three quarters full. This way there's enough water to flush it out. In some cases, that may mean you need to add a little water to get it to three quarters full. Just flush the toilet until you reach that mark. You can also flush the black tank. The hook up here, it says Santee Flush. Put a garden hose on this one, not your drinking water hose. I don't think I have to tell you why. Flushing the black tank ensures nothing is hanging around that shouldn't be. The gray handle is next, give her a pull. Now the gray tank holds all the water from your sinks and showers. By pulling this last, the water flushes out the hose following the black tank. When you're ready to pack up, opposite order. Close the gray tank first, then the black tank. Twist off the sewer hose and yep, this is just as much fun as it sounds. Put the cap back on and tilt the valve up. This will stop any nasty leaks and drips. So when you are putting this cap on, make sure it is tight. We're gonna play a little game for this one, a little multiple choice for you, all right? If this cap is not tight and there are leaks and drips, the next time you open this wet bay, you're gonna say, A, yay, this is my favorite part of the trip. B, smells like Christmas in here. Or C, ew, that's nasty. Screw the porthole cover back in place. And as much as you wanna be done, not yet. The last step is to clean the sewer hose before you put it away. You can use a hose or the exterior shower for this. A few other items to note. If you have the opportunity to dump the tanks before a trip, do it as it reduces their gross weight with the emphasis on gross. Also, make sure there's enough water inside to cover the bottom of the tank. This will prevent anything left hanging around from hardening. A couple of other tips. You may want to wear some gloves while doing this, preferably disposable. Also keep a rag and some cleaner on hand. That way you can clean up any messes and catch anything that may have tried to escape. Now that you know how to do the deed, make the most of it. Follow these simple steps and you won't have to say, Ew, that's